Do you know your numbers? Yes, I'm talking about that dirty little word, cholesterol. There is a negative stigma attached to cholesterol. However, not all cholesterol is bad. It plays a vital role in our body's chemistry. Cholesterol is a soft, waxy substance that is considered a lipid, which is a fat compound. They are insoluble to water, thus insoluble in the blood. Cholesterol is found in all of your body's cells and the bloodstream. Cholesterol is abundant in the membranes of these cells. It maintains the integrity of the membrane and plays a vital role in cell signaling, which is the ability of your cells to communicate with each other. Cholesterol is used to produce the steroid hormones required for normal development and functioning. The sexual hormones trigger development of the physical traits of men and women. It also plays a role in reproduction. The hormone cortisol is involved in regulating blood sugar levels and defending the body against infection. Aldosterone is important for retaining salt and water. Cholesterol is also used to make bile, a greenish fluid produced by the liver that is used to digest food. The body also needs bile to absorb the fat-soluble vitamins A, D, E, and K. We have all heard of good cholesterol, bad cholesterol. But what is the real difference? There are three types of cholesterol. VLDL, very low density lipoproteins, LDL, low density lipoproteins, and HDL, high density lipoproteins. HDL is considered the good cholesterol. It prevents accumulation of cholesterol in the blood. LDL cholesterol is commonly nicknamed the bad cholesterol because if in excess numbers, it can deposit in and around the smooth muscle fibers in the arteries. VLDLs transport triglycerides, but as they deposit them, it is transformed into LDL cholesterol. As you can see, cholesterol is made in the liver. VLDL transports fats for storage. LDLs deliver cholesterol to the cells throughout the body. HDL gets left with the cleanup job. They remove excess cholesterol from cells and the blood, then transport it to the liver for elimination. Therefore, you want a high HDL level and a low LDL level. If your HDL level is low, no matter what your bad cholesterol level is, you still have an increased five-year risk for cardiovascular diseases. The combination of all three cholesterol levels is your total cholesterol. There are many diseases linked to having high total cholesterol levels. Heart disease or cardiovascular disease is a generalized term used to refer to disease of the arteries and veins. When your cholesterol is high, it builds up plaque on the walls of your arteries, causing hardening. This slows blood flow and eventually blocks it. Can you tell us a little bit about your family history? Okay. Well, I'm from a large family and uh, which actually have cholesterol problems. My mama had high cholesterol and uh, she actually died from a heart attack. And uh, most recently, I have an older brother who uh, is overweight like me and really didn't think there was that much wrong with him until he was out hunting and uh, had a heart pain and he had a slight heart attack and come find out he's got high cholesterol and a slight heart condition. And I also got a sister that's right now on medication. There are several treatments available for controlling high total cholesterol. Diet and exercise are the first methods that should be put into place. High fiber diets rich in fruits, vegetables, and whole grains along with exercise, can reduce cholesterol levels by 10 to 20 percent. How long have you had high cholesterol? I've had high cholesterol now for about seven, eight years. What was your doctor's first advice? Well, his first advice, he went, when I went and found out I had it, he told me to see if I could cure it with healthy eating and exercise. But I drive a truck, and I have for years. So, uh, I'm on the road all the time. I ain't got time to ready to exercise. Hold me steering wheel up and down the road. 
and when I eat, I kind of got it pack it with me to go. So it ain't that healthy. So we tried that for about six months. And I went back to have a, another checkup on that, and my cholesterol hadn't went down none. And at that time, it was running about 325, and uh, which is way high, where it should just be around 200. So he put me on Lipitor. I was on that for six months and went back again. And in that six months, it took me down to about 165. And I've been on that now for probably going on five years. And that's where my count is staying. It's running about 165 regular. And uh, he said everything's great. And, and that's how we're doing with, dealing with it right now. Statin medications are what you will predominantly find on the cholesterol treatment market. Statins are LDL cholesterol lowering agents. They block the key enzyme reticulase needed for cholesterol synthesis. There are some side effects related to statins. 1 in 10 people have some form of mild muscle pain. 1 in 10,000 have some breakdown of muscle fibers. Statin medications are considered one of the safest drugs on the market. Statins typically can reduce cholesterol levels up to 60%. However, statins are only truly effective on LDL levels. Even if you bring down your LDL cholesterol to less than 70, you are still at an increased risk for cardiovascular disease, which is related to your good cholesterol. Patients who modified their diet, maintained an exercise regimen, and took cholesterol-lowering medication reduced their cholesterol levels by almost 70%. Exercise raises your good cholesterol levels, while medications will decrease your bad cholesterol levels. I believe this is the best solution for lowering total cholesterol levels.